I'm telling you guys, I'm sick of building walls. Hello everyone, Total Thomas Man here, and today we're back with another episode of the Amplify Survival Series. How's everybody doing? So, if I remember correctly, this is episode 15. Wow. We've got 10 more episodes until we do the first world tour, which means that we've got to do something productive. We got I want to finish the castle by episode 25. Okay? Episode 25. So, for those who don't know, what I'm going to do is every 25 episodes, we are going to do a world tour. Which is basically... Let's see... We go through the world every 25 episodes showing what we've done and the more episodes we add to this series the longer those world tour episodes are going to be which means like they could be up to an hour long like episode 100 an hour long world tour that could be interesting we might even hear me out we might even have a special guest episode 100 and do a world tour you know i think it could be cool i don't know who yet <laughs> But we'll figure something out, so uh, I guess let's go ahead and get into the episode. Ah, oh, lovely day in Lathundra. I have been planting trees back here. Some of them have not grown. Some of them probably can't possibly grow under some conditions. But I've been planting trees back here to fill up these empty spaces and everywhere else that has an empty space. But I think, you know, because I'm in a super productive mood today, let's go ahead and get into good old fashioned speed build mode. And let us build up the front of the castle. Look at how good this thing looks. Well, you can't see right now because I'm flying. But look. Once it loads in, standing from the ground right here, if it decides to load in. There we go. Look at how majestic that looks. So we're going to add some details, like windows and such, right now, actually. I think we could add some details. So basically, I need those to... Oh, Oh, that, this is, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Okay, so basically I'm thinking maybe right there we add a window. What's that going to look like? That's, nah, we won't do right there. I'm actually kind of thinking, oh, what is my luck today? Seriously, I need to use scaffolding. And just do this on the outside instead of the inside but I'm thinking somewhere in there we'll do a window right there and what does that look like not bad I think I kind of like the other one after all that oh there's the mob farm 
Let's see, can you see it? Uh oh. Why is there a wall? Or is there, or not a wall, why is there a hole in my castle? Oh well, we'll fix it. But, can you see the mob farm from inside? No, just barely, but it's important. It supplies these rockets and bone meal and wool whenever we need it and a rotten flesh. Haven't found a use for that one yet because I don't have any clerics. So I think what we're going to wind up doing is grab some scaffolding along with some cobblestone and some mossy cobblestone real quickly. So we're going to use the scaffolding to go up. That way we don't have to, uh, yeah, you know. There we go, that should be enough. This scaffolding, I'm just going to say scaffolding is an amazing block. Despite what some people might tell you, scaffolding is one of the best blocks for building in the game. Not for building with. But for using to build, oh, it's it's heavenly. It's heavenly. Alrighty. So now we gotta do the same thing on the other towers. And boom, boom. That's done. So now if you come around here, you'll realize that we've only got the front done. But don't worry, we're gonna finish that up in a little bit. Don't you worry, we're not gonna leave it like that. I'm total Thomas man. I wouldn't leave stuff like that. <laughs> okay, so now I want to kind of go in and detail some of these bits, like kind of add a bit of mossy cobblestone and maybe like the stair somewhere, you know, like just to mix it up a little bit. So the stone part is fine, but the cobblestone, it needs a little bit of detailing, I feel like. And we just kind of add bits of mossy cobblestone here and there. Add like a stair every once in a while. And then we should get something kind of like this, whatever this looks like. So yeah, I think that will work. Of course, we're going to need a lot more details for it to look good. I'm just double checking, you know, that way to make, I want to make sure this actually does look good. And on second thought, I don't like the stairs at all. This is why you always double check, people. If you don't double check, then you won't know if you don't like something. And if you don't like something, and it, you get like halfway through with your build, and you just then realize that you can't stand something that you did, that's horrible. So always double check, okay? That's my advice for building. Okay, I think that's all of the stairs taken out. So yeah, the mossy cobblestone definitely does work. And this mossy, using all this mossy cobblestone definitely makes me want the 1.17 crafting recipe that turns uh, moss and cobblestone instead of vines and cobblestone because vines are a pain in the backside to gather. A few nights ago, that's when I gathered all the mossy cobblestone. It was a pain. So let's, oop. <laughs> let's see what this mossy cobblestone looks like. Okay, yeah, I like that. See, it breaks up the uh, just the solid cobblestone just enough that make it. And it makes it, you know, like, kind of smoother. Er. Or not smoother, but it just adds the little bit of details, you guys. It's just the little bits of details that matter. You know, I just realized we have a me mega taiga near us in this world. Which means we definitely did not have to, I, er, not we, because we're not doing this together. That means I definitely did not have to go through the painful process of gathering all those vines. I think I know what we're doing as soon as I'm done detailing. Okay, so a few things. You remember how a few episodes ago that I said this, or it might have been last episode, that I said this is going to definitely be a long-term world. It's not going to be, it's, 
I don't know if it's going to be like my forever world, like Jermsey Boys, Building Big with Germ and Building with Whip and all those. It's not going to be like I'm going to play this for six years, but we're going to play this until the until uh, 1.18 comes out. Okay? And then that's probably where we're going to leave it. So that means we will start some like our huge long-term world after this. But, I may change my mind once again, because I've done that several times recently. So, why why don't I just put the mossy cobble in my offhand? That could make things a whole lot easier. Okay, I need more mossy cobble. And that's my last stack. I only got a stack and a half or so. So, I've been playing around with modded recently. Well, you saw Tuesday's video. Maybe. That video did very poorly and that's because I didn't have a thumbnail. That's because the world corrupted as soon as I was done because I accidentally loaded the world without mo the mods and it made all the buildings go crazy like it deleted everything. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was unable to get thumbnails for those, sadly. But, you know, I, I, I don't, you know, I will admit it wasn't my uh, best video. I was in a rush, I was struggling creatively that day that I filmed, so I probably shouldn't have done that video. I could have probably come up with something better, but, you know. I'm, it's, it, I had to film because I want, I want to put out videos th Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for you guys. That way, you know, everything's, you know, that way I have somewhat of a schedule. It's not the best schedule, but it's somewhat of a schedule. Yeah, I think that will work. So let's put this mossy couple away that we have. And more importantly, let's uh, go sleep. So for those who don't know, Mega Tigers are one of the only biomes in Minecraft. They are the only biome in Minecraft that um, spawns like mossy cobblestone rocks. So we can take out those rocks and uh, use them to get mossy cobblestone. And coarse dirt. We could just destroy this biome, honestly. See, there's a mossy cobblestone rock, so I want to get out of here with at least two stacks, maybe. Somewhere in there. But that might be harder because in Amplified, these rocks don't spawn as frequently. Which is another good reason this series isn't going to be a long... It's going to... It isn't going to be my forever survival series. And plus, the new cave update, it's going to be hard to go back in here and regenerate stuff. So we can regenerate chunks for copper, but not the new caves, because that's just gonna be too much work. So basically what I'm trying to say is, this is gonna last until the end of when 1.18 comes out. And then we are going to, uh, you know, be moving on to a regular survival world, okay? Regular. Not amplified. This was a fun thing to try out. I'm still very much so enjoying it, but I have realized that this is not going to work for three years of. I can't play this world for four, five, six years. And I don't. In the cave update, there's not going to be anything bigger than that for a long time. So I think it'll be a safe place to start a new, fresh, single player survival regular world. But don't worry, this world is not going anywhere for a while. And for those, uh, for those worried about this, I'm thinking, okay? I'm doing a bit of thinking of where I can throw this, okay? And plus, I'm starting to think, just talking to you guys, because we've talked about the future of this series so much in the last few episodes, I want to nip it in the bud, but... For a little, this is going to be probably the last time I talk about this series. So basically, what we're going to be, I'm thinking, another plan is to keep this world for a long time. 
but like it's not going to be a frequent thing. It's going to be like once every two or three weeks or so, okay? It's not going to, because the episodes are going to take a long time to film, so I'm thinking we might keep it, but it's not going to be like once a week or twice a week or three times a week thing like it is right now. Also, when 1.17 comes, I am going to make the bold decision. Oh, there's mobs. Get out of there. Let's get out of there. Alright, where's... I think we're running out of mossy cobblestone to gather in this part, in these parts. Oh, hey, zombie. <laughs> die. Die. And now I'm gonna die. Oh dear, that's the ender chest, not the, uh, oh boy. Get out of here, creeper. Get out. I said get out. Oh, I hate dark areas. So basically, 1.17, I'm making the bold decision to uh, start a hardcore world. Ooh, yay. I know, right? You never thought I'd do it. Let's uh, go down here. See what, if there's any treasure. There usually is in this area. Yep, here we go. Uh, coal. Coal and a fishing rod. Curse of vanishing. <laughs> well, that was, that's probably some of the worst treasure I've ever seen. Minecraft treasure for you folks. Okay, I, I think we got all the mossy cobblestone we could. We're gonna have to find another mega taiga. There's the dark oak forest. We don't need any dark oak right now. Um, where are we? Okay, we're home. We're about home. Just trust me. I know this world like the back of my hand. If you hear background noise, that's my dog barking. She seems to be doing that a lot lately while I'm trying to film. So, you know, that it is how it is. <laughs> Alright, we're back at Sodor Town. And, uh, we don't need to be here. We need to be over at the castle. I love flying over the Thunder. It, it's pretty cool. Alright, that looks to be... Plenty of mossy, well, not plenty, but enough mossy cobblestone to last for a little while. Ah, oh, flying over the industrial district. I haven't showed you my big hull. You're probably wondering where all the castle resources like cobblestone and stone are coming from. This is where. It's hit a cave right now, and that's made me scared to go down there and mine some more, but, you know, <laughs> I'll have to do it eventually when I run out of stone and whatnot. So, I want to talk about a future project I want to do when we're done with this one. So the desert city we've got going on, which we will get back to in the next episode, probably, because I want to alternate because the castle's a big project, but the desert city is also a pretty decent sized project. So we're flying out in the swamp, right? And you know, swamps aren't the best for building, but... I want to build something in the swamp in the future. And what we're going to be building is another castle. So, you know, we have Lathundra. Well, why, why, why is there a huge wall? It's not blocking the peasants in. It's protecting the peasants, right? Right. 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 So, oh, hey, Gal. So, basically... Why did the peasants need protecting? What did, are they supposed to be protected from? What about a neighboring kingdom that, you know, these two castles, Thundra and this other kingdom that we're gonna build soon, what if they didn't like each other at all? <laughs> like they hated each other, you know? They, were in, they weren't enemies, but they just couldn't stand each other and occasionally they'd get mad at each other and send out troops, you know? There's a bit of an error you know, you see it in my skin, but that's okay. So, basically, I'm thinking that we build another castle as a neighboring kingdom and build some kind of, I don't know, not vi peasant village again, but something, something or another that the castle's here for. I don't know what, some kind of 
kingdom. Maybe just a rogue. I don't know yet. But I thought I'd share that with you guys. And I've also been in the other side of this swamp collecting vines. Yeah. Swamps are the best place to collect vines, in my opinion. So let's fly on back over here. Are we in the right area? Not yet. Here we are. So, I, if you remember last episode I told you I found the jungle? Well, I added some, half of this is pumpkins and half of this is melons. So, that's pretty nice. And I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I really don't. <laughs> well, I think, oh, yeah, I had to, ex I finally extended the wall. I finally extended this wall. So, it kind of protects, but let's get into a good old fashioned speed build mode once again and build up the rest of the castle wall. telling you guys, I'm sick of building walls. <laughs> it's all I ever do anymore. It's all I ever do. Just build walls. It, it's not really fun anymore. Of course it's fun. It's building, but I'm glad we aren't going to have to be building many more walls. We're going to be moving on to some of the insides of the castles. And I'm going to tell you one thing right now. Desert City, no wall. You know, we might do a top 10 wall design. I or wall design ideas a video because all I ever do is build walls. <laughs> Episode 8, I built a wall. Okay? Got it? Yeah. What did I do this episode? I built a wall. Yeah. I'm done. I'm, I'm taking a break from building walls. Okay? So thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you all on the next one.